Hello, I'm Jason Ryan and, and I'm from Mabel Property and welcome to our community story. Today we've come down to the Vincent Men's Shed in North Perth to talk to our local shed. We're fortunate enough to have uh, um, Roy, the President, and Ross, the Treasurer, to have a little bit of a chat about what they, what the guys do and a little bit more about this story. How did the, the shed movement start? Um, well, the shed movement um, started in Australia and it's actually a worldwide concept at the moment. Um, many, many years ago. This shed um, was thought of in 2010 with uh, a steering committee and through the city of Vincent. And uh, then this shed was officially opened on uh, in, in April 2014. Okay. So from then we've grown from four to six members, the, the initial um, steering committee that got the shed going. And at this financial year, we've got approximately uh, just over 100 financial members. Gotcha. And we grow in about two or three members a week. And uh, at the end of the year, some members leave because they've finished with their projects or move on. And uh, the rest just rejoin and we carry on. Fantastic. And uh, Ross, what are some of the, the, the projects that um, the members work on? Well, a lot of them work on their own projects, which is why they join. But a number of uh, our members work on uh, projects that uh, we do for the community, either for the town of Vincent or other bodies who, who uh, approach us, or even individuals who bring uh, broken equipment in or come in with an idea. For example, a lady came in and wanted some micro bet boxes. Okay, and, yeah. Uh, we didn't know what micro bet boxes were, but <laughs> we finished up making them and then it turned into a, a father grandfather, son, daughter okay. project. Uh, so one thing leads to another. So you definitely try and link up with the community and, and, and try and do some work. I mean, um, I think before you explained to me some of the panda boxes, is that a project? Yes, that so uh, the City of Vincent usually give us uh, a little bit of work and uh, we did the planter boxes on Fitzgerald and Ernegove Street. And uh, there's, there's, they're busy now looking to, so some of them have been damaged so to replace some of them and put some new ones down. So we're just waiting for the go ahead again, which should be any day now, to get uh, the new plant boxes and we'll, we can start building them. We've got all the timber and everything. Fantastic. So, uh, yes. Fantastic. And you know, I was walking through earlier and um, obviously the, the shed's not the biggest one around, but walking through it had a real community feel. Um, everyone seemed to, to, to know each other. Someone like myself who hasn't got the skill sets um, um, to come along, um, can you, can you learn and, and you get help from, from other members if you're not that, that, that equipped with, with what the guys are doing? Yes, look, the guys in the shed are extremely helpful. Um, our, our, our motto is not to train people how to use machinery, but to gotcha. show people how to use machinery. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't matter from what walk of life you are, whether you uh, have a disability, whether you're a lady or a man, you're more than welcome to come to the shed. And whatever your project is, if you're unsure of anything, we will help you. There's members out there that will show you exactly what to do and, and guide you and help you do whatever you have to do. Fantastic. And one of the things with the, the men's shed, um, I guess you address, um, uh, which is great, a lot of men's health issues. Is that fair to say as yep, well? That's right, we do. We have uh, regular, roughly six weekly uh, talks on a Thursday at uh, morning tea time, get different health professionals uh, talking about, we had a dietitian recently, we had someone right. talking about uh, uh, first aid, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, yeah. uh, things like that, a variety. Okay, fantastic. And I can see um, every good shed, we've got a cricket bat um, over <laughs> behind us, so there must be a good story uh, around that. Um, uh, can you, can you yes. share that? Yes, one of our members is a uh, cricket enthusiast and in fact he, he umpires cricket okay. at quite a high level yep. and he decided to bring the cricket back and the, and the two wickets and yes. uh, so what we do once a member's been here for a hundred uh, days or, or come to the shed for a hundred days his name goes on the one wicket for a hundred and, <laughs> yes, uh, and as soon as he hits us the 200 uh, then his name will go on the other one so Fantastic. yeah it's just a fun thing that we do in the shed and uh, you know as as um, Ross was saying we it's, it's part of our the shed rules that you've got to stop at 10 30 to 11 every day that we're open for morning tea and have a chat 
Right. And of course, we're, we're in, although we do have ladies at the shed, we are um, into men's health. But I mean, uh, clearing and sight and, and the heart, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. For sure. Mental health as well. We, yeah. we oh, try yeah. to support uh, members who are struggling or having uh, mental health issues. Yeah. So it's, more, it's, it's a real community hub Absolutely. within a, within a community Absolutely. where a lot of people may not realise, even if you're not um, into doing some work, you can come down for a cup of coffee and a, and a chat. I couldn't help but notice the little library when I was walking <laughs> through. Uh, I'm really keen to find out more about um, you know, how that started and the, the idea behind it. I'm not too sure how that, the, the, the street library started actually, but they, went, they were a few up and around the city and we decided that we'd make one and we put it outside there and it, it's been very successful. Um, I just look at it when I'm out there whenever and I notice the books are moving, new books are coming and often you see a person standing there looking and taking a book and that's uh, so. Yeah. So it's for anyone in the community, it's, it's, it's there 24 um, hours a day, you can grab a book um, and, and, and replace one ideally. Exactly right. Um, and I guess to encourage uh, people to get off their digital devices, which... Uh, the award over there, um, the Oops Award, is there a story behind that one too? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, so our, um, we've got two saws, called saw stops, and um, those uh, uh, saw blades are spinning at about 5,000 revs a, a minute, and if you saw in a piece of wood and you just touch the saw blade, it, it senses, it's sensitive, so uh, moisture sensitive, the saw blade will stop within millimeters yep. and there's a good chance you might only just have a paper cut on your finger. To the person who's done that, we charge him $200 because yeah. we've saved his <laughs> finger and that's the, almost the cost of the new blade and break. Yeah, wow, well, so, good, good, good investment. So it's worth, <laughs> it's, uh, yes, it's worth, it's worth the $200. The question I have for you both was, how can the community link up better with our local wind shed? And, uh, any ideas around what, what, for the future, how that could work? We, we are involved with the, with the city of Vincent and uh, there's a, there's a um, project coming up on the North, North Perth Common shortly and we'll be helping that out with the barbecue um, and various uh, things we, we link up sometimes with Bunnings uh, and do their barbecues um, and yeah we, we try to get involved with the community uh, people know us they come in uh, ask us to do little jobs for them you yep. know if, depending on what it is We'll just say, we'll just give us a donation. If we have to buy stuff, um, then we'll just say, well, it's gonna cost us that amount to buy, and this is how much we'll charge you for that thing. In terms of a project, is there anything that you've done that you're really proud of? Uh, um, being the chairman, and prior to that, I was the treasurer. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have too much time. You didn't have the time. Um, but yeah, one of the first projects I did when we came, when I joined the Vincent Menchett, was the uh, plant boxes. I learned a tremendous amount from that. Fantastic. What I find with, with what I do, um, uh, a lot of the gentlemen um, uh, are reluctant to release their family home because they, they've got a great shed. Um, and um, a lot of them don't know about the, the shed and that it's an option for them that they can tap into the expertise. So um, I wanted to thank you both for uh, taking the time to have a chat to us and hopefully you've got a little bit more awareness of our, our local men's shed uh, coming down here. So thanks, no, thank, thank you very much. Thank you.